Welcome to Nine on Your Side at Six. I'm Kristen Hartman. Education will be a top priority in Kentucky. That is the promise from its new governor, Andy Bashir. Evan Millward is the only local TV reporter in Frankfurt for the inauguration. It's a celebration there tonight, but this will not be easy, will it, Evan? No, Kristen, it will not be easy in large part because neither party appears to be much on the same page. You'll notice the Capitol is lit in blue tonight. Blue for the Democrats who return to the governor's mansion now. And it's a Democrat in that mansion with a familiar name. Andy Bashir's dad, Steve, was governor here before Republican Matt Bevin. Voters four years ago chose change in electing the first governor in, in decades and again chose change this year with the younger Bashir's election. Educators and public employees helped push Bashir across the finish line in that election and they were on the front lines today in both the parade and the inaugural ceremony. But Bashir has to work with and get policy through an overwhelmingly Republican House and Senate. I will be a governor just as much for those who voted against me as those who voted for me, because I view this election as an opportunity, an opportunity to heal wounds, an opportunity to work together instead of angling for political gain, an opportunity to make room at the table for voices that have been excluded. Yeah, and that inaugural ceremony wrapped up a couple of hours ago. There are now just all the parties tonight. And then on Thursday, Governor Bashir says he will use an executive order to restore voting rights to 100,000 men and women with felonies on their records. That process remains unclear tonight. We're live in Frankfurt. I'm Evan Millward, 9 on your side.